Hello and welcome to Tending the Soul, this ministry of Robinsdale Parkway United Church of Christ. I'm Reverend T. Michael Rock, and with Reverend Kathy Itson, we are the co-pastors of this amazing congregation, and we welcome you into these moments of soul tending, this place deep inside of you that is longing, that's yearning for connection and wholeness, this place inside of you that is asking and crying out for healing and justice and love, this place we call our soul. The place that connects us to people who are living and people who have gone to another shore. This soul is what inspires us to create and do art and music and, and laugh and love and, and, and get beyond our own needs. This part of us is what connects us to the world. And today's soul tending is really simply that understanding that in this perennial tradition, this wisdom that exists in every religious faith tradition um, throughout the planet for all time has been to simply slow down and notice and be present to what is. Today I was reading this beautiful statement from the Desert Fathers and Mothers and and one of the new novitiates in the community, a new person into the, into the place of, of quietude says to the teacher, what must I do to be saved? And the teacher basically says, when you're hungry, eat. When you're thirsty, drink. And do not speak ill of anyone. In that, your soul will be saved. And it mirrors, of course, the great Zen teaching um, when the Buddhist teacher tells the students, what's different about my practice than yours and when you're new into this is that when I'm hungry I eat and when I'm tired I sleep and I do nothing else except that which is right in front of me while your heads churn and think and cycle around with all the different thoughts and worries of the world when you slow down and simply do the thing that is right in front of you, you will embody the teaching. This has always been true, friends, and, and I want to say that the, even the Confucius scholar moves into that place and teaching their students, do whatever is right in front of you. He says, when you eat, when you're hungry, you eat, when you're tired, you sleep, when you're thirsty, you drink. But make sure when you see someone, you see first the divine in them and not their faults and failures. Look for the beauty in each soul. Look for the beauty in everything you do. Friends, this simplicity, this, this movement of not being distracted by everything else is our soul work. To move into each moment, into each room of wherever we are, into each relationship, and just take what is in that moment. This is soul work. It is without judgment. It is without prejudice. It is without distraction. Soul work is dealing with what is. And I'll close with this. When... Moses is being converted, moved, inspired, and uh, prophesied to by the burning bush. Moses comes with doubts and judgments and worries and all kinds of things and fear and says to that bush, who are you? And the bush simply responds in that beautiful voice, I am your breath. I am what I am. I was what I was. I will be what I will be. I am you. You are holy and beloved. When you breathe, breathe. When you're hungry, eat. When you're thirsty, drink. When you're tired, sleep. When you see another being, whether two-legged or four-legged or winged or finned or planted in the ground, 
you are in the presence of the divine. Ashe.